Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield live at Foxwoods here at the home of Chris Angel's brand new production called The Supernaturalist. It's on the East Coast. It plays until the 24th of July. And I'm delighted to say that Chris Angel joins us now live from his home in Las Vegas. How are you doing, Chris? What's up, Alex? Listen, you've done it again. I came to see the show last night. You could make life so much easier for yourself, couldn't you? You've pushed the bar to another level for touring magic shows. Well, uh, The Supernaturalist is really a revolutionary magic experience. It couples uh, mind-blowing um, magic illusions, demonstrations with escapes, and uh, really takes it to a brand new level. There's no show uh, in the world that I'm familiar with that can even come close. Here's what you've done. You've gone around the world and picked the greatest magicians. How did you find them, or did they find you? Well, I've been very fortunate with the success of the Chris Angel brand. You know, people come to me, and I've uh, also scoured the globe myself trying to find the very best of the best, each in their respective discipline. And what I came away with was nine insane, mind-blowing artists that the world has never seen before. Together in one show for an experience you will never forget. You're there in Las Vegas doing Believe twice a night. And here's this show over on the East Coast doing business here at Foxwoods. And the two shows have a lot in common. I mean, it's so pacey. You don't miss a second, do you? You don't want the audience to get bored. I know. I mean, we live in a different day and age. You know, technology is at our disposal and we're overloaded with information. And what worked five years or 10 years ago or 20 years ago for magic definitely doesn't work now. And I think that's why magic has kind of fall under the radar to, for the most part. And I believe uh, why Mind Freak and Believe has been so successful because it connects to people and it gives them what they want. And it takes magic from the hokey kind of novelty that you've seen for years and years and brings it into the new day and age that we live in with the uh, pop culture and artistic merit that it deserves. I've seen many, many shows around the world. I saw The Illusionists on tour recently. I've seen Copperfield and all these guys. And it seems like you've mastered the art of making magic cool and sexy. Is that intentional? Well, I think it just, uh, you know, I have my fingerprint, my DNA in this show because I've created each and every single act in it from the car manipulation with Stefan, who's brilliant in it, to the demonstration that Spencer does, the water uh, tank or the submerge. Um, outside of the amazing Jonathan, who's a good friend of mine, who um, I got the rights to do the, uh, the card, comedy card bit. Outside of that, everything else is completely original and stuff that I've been working on since 2005. Um, the other shows that are out there, the ensemble shows are, you know, the world's a big place and they can work, but um, they're doing stuff that we've seen time and time and time again. It doesn't really um, do anything more than provide a variety magic act, which for me is not very interesting at all. We wanted to recreate magic in a whole new presentation with revolutionary illusions, um, state-of-the-art lighting and technologies from the LED walls to the pyrotechnics, everything is integrated. And my goal is to reinvent magic like Cirque du Soleil did for the, for the circus. It's a big goal, but one I'm destined to conquer. When you said you were going to do this show for Foxwoods, you said you were going to push the limits and push the barriers of magic to a 2015 level. The show got off to a dangerous start. I know Spencer was involved in this underwater accident, which looked horrific. Tell us what happened. Well, about a month prior in Las Vegas, um, you know, I was telling Spencer that, you know, I, I wanted to push it, but I didn't want to push him too far where he was uncomfortable. And he's, you know, it's in his DNA. He's a daredevil like myself. And, you you know, wanted me to dream up the craziest demonstration. So I borrowed uh, some inspiration from Houdini and from Mind Freak and the things that I've done and kind of put together uh, an escape that has never been attempted, never been seen. It's something that is at a whole new level. And when he was rehearsing it, trying to get his uh, breath hold longer, um, you know, he ultimately paid the price for a few moments where he blacked out in Las Vegas in our staging area. I pulled him out then and then we were burning a candle at both ends at Foxwoods trying to get ready for our opening preview show and unfortunately his mind said he could do it but his body said not now. Magic is dangerous at your level. These illusions are enormous. They cost millions of dollars and they can go wrong. 
Uh, yeah, and a lot of people, you know, think, you know, when I see stuff on, I have about 300 million plus views on YouTube, and everybody's like, oh, that's an actor, or oh, that's staged, or that's not real, or that's not dangerous, and that's all great, because when they come see The Supernaturalist, or believe here in Las Vegas, or Mind Freak Live on tour, people are dumbfounded, because they did not think it was physically possible to do these revolutionary demonstrations live, on stage, and people will see things that I've worked 15 years on like the park bench when you rip the person in half they will see that in the supernaturalist I've created this um, opportunity for them to do my signature pieces live and it's uh, it's really an exciting show as you say it's fast-paced and there's something in it for everyone it's a family show I don't know anybody who works harder than you in show business. If it isn't bad enough putting on one show that you're performing twice nightly to then create another one is remarkable. The Supernaturalist performs until the end of July at the Fox Theatre here at Foxwoods. You should be very proud of your cast because this is an amazing show. And again, the sound and the light and the whole production, it takes everything to a new level. And the speed in which they do these illusions, it is breathtaking, Chris. Well, thank you so very much. You know, not only myself, but uh, everyone, the cast, the crew, the unsung heroes that have made this show possible, that brought it to fruition, are the real, the real heroes here because uh, one person cannot win a war. It takes an army, and I have the very best army in the world. I understand this show could tour the world in 2016. Is that going to happen? Absolutely. We're uh, going to be announcing dates for 2015, 2016, and my goal is to have a new production out every year and a half so that's my goal and your fans tweet me every time we talk saying when's he going to be back on tv are there plans for that uh there's lots of plans in the works and uh with the success of the supernaturalist that was my focus right now but as i uh let that go and uh move on and and continue its successful run sold out shows every night um i will embark on my next project but i'm also popping in the supernaturalist unannounced so they don't need me but i love that show it's my best show to date and one that i'm very proud of and one that i love to perform so you might see me in that show as well you never know you are the biggest rock star in magic and you move it to another level i suppose for you life doesn't get better than this starring in las vegas this show selling out night after night you've made it really haven't you well you know something i um i thought about something on uh wednesday night uh i i thought to myself before i went on stage wow i'm gonna be on stage the same night my other production is on stage and both of them are sold out. So that was a pretty monumental mode, mo moment for me in my career and I'm just so grateful for all of the loyals worldwide, all the fans of Magic, everybody that you know has supported me and the Supernaturalists. It's really been an amazing journey and uh, you know for me it's, it's, it's a journey and uh, I don't want to get to the destination anytime soon. I, I love the journey. Your work ethic is inspiring. Your talent is phenomenal. And this show is remarkable. The Supernaturalist plays until the end of July here at the Fox Theatre at Foxwoods in Connecticut. Great to talk to you, Chris Angel. Thank you so much. And it does end. The last performance at Foxwoods is July 23rd. And tickets are selling out fast. So if you want to see a revolutionary, mind-blowing magic spectacle, you better get tickets right now. Go to Foxwoods and get your tickets. And maybe I'll see you there. Thanks a lot, Alex.